Welcome to day 20 of our consecration to St. Joseph. Today in the litany, we are going to be covering Joseph most obedient. But let us begin by praying the prayer to St. Joseph. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To you, O blessed Joseph, do we come in our tribulation, and having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently invoke your patronage also. Through that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and through the paternal love with which you embrace the child Jesus, we humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood, and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, Defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. O most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O our most mighty protector, be kind to us and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, <clears throat> so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield to each one of us by your constant protection, so that supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. Joseph Most Obedient. Saint Joseph Sebastian Pelzar said, if you want to know Saint Joseph's obedience, Look at how he rose at night at the angel's voice, and giving no care to hunger, hardships, or cold, went to Egypt where he led a hard life until the next command of God. Obedience is a misunderstood virtue. Many people are of the opinion that obedience to authority limits their freedom, requiring them to hand over their rights to others. But this is not the case. In fact, obedience to laws is part of everyday human life. A road sign, for example, doesn't take away a person's freedom. <clears throat> road signs and other legitimate laws are designed to give people true freedom and happiness. You are able to disobey stop signs while driving, but obedience to the stop sign is what allows you and others to reach your destinations in safety. Natural and divine law are not inhibitors to freedom. In God's plan, the purpose of these laws is to help us to reach our ultimate destination of heaven. Those who fail to obey reason and the divine dictates will end up psychologically, anthropologically, and spiritually frustrated and run the risk of never reaching heaven. Obedience requires trust. Lack of trust on the part of our first parents, Adam and Eve, is what caused all mankind to fall into sin. The Garden of Eden, our first parents, in the Garden of Eden, our first parents were tricked into disobeying God by the serpent. The devil instilled in their minds doubts regarding God's trustworthiness. Did God really say you would die? That's what the serpent had said. Our new parents, Mary and St. Joseph, trusted God and were willing to suffer for their obedience to God. Mary and Joseph were certain that God had their best interests in mind. Pope Benedict XVI said, Why was St. Matthew so keen to note Joseph's trust in the words received from the messenger of God, if not to invite us to imitate the same loving trust? You are probably familiar with the heavenly visions given to St. Faustina containing the divine mercy message and devotion. But did you know that St. Faustina had visions of St. Joseph as well? St. Faustina loved St. Joseph very much and frequently turned to him for his powerful intercession, asking him to help her do the will of God and be faithful to her mission of spreading devotion to, of God's mercy. With the help of St. Joseph, St. Faustina was able to complete her mission and be obedient to her superiors 
even when they sent her for a psychological evaluation. The virtue of obedience not, is not only for nuns and priests. Everyone needs to be obedient to both natural and divine law. Obeying the Ten Commandments, the teachings of the Catholic Church, attending Mass faithfully on Sundays and holy days of obligation, and going to confession when you fall into sin are all ways of showing that you trust and obey God. Everyone needs to trust God and obey the natural law as well. The person who defends marriage as an institution between one man and one woman is obeying the natural law. Protecting children in the womb by voting for candidates who are uncompromisingly pro-life is a sign of being obedient to the natural law. Resisting the nonsense of gender ideology is another way of obeying natural law. If you are mocked, ridiculed, and made to suffer for your trust and obedience to the divine and natural law, you are not far from the kingdom of heaven. Pope St. John Paul II said that Joseph, in his obedience to the Holy Spirit, found in the Holy Spirit the source of love. And obedience in these days is definitely as close to a four-letter word, even though there's eight letters in it, nine letters in it. People don't like the word obedience today, even though we're all obedient to something, whether it's the natural law, the divine law, or we're obedient to our appetites and always trying to satiate them. Which one is going to leave lead us to happiness and right living. Seems pretty obvious to me. So the extra reading for today was about the sleeping St. Joseph. <clears throat> and it basically, you know, to make a long story short, spoke about how in St. Joseph's dreams, the angels appeared to him four times to give him commands. So even sleep for St. Joseph was a form of prayer that learning to listen to the Holy Spirit. I don't know if I would have woken up in the middle of the night with those dreams if I would have just packed everything and left like St. Joseph did. But if you're truly in tune with God's Spirit, when he says jump, you'll jump. I know I've got a lot of learning to do in order to trust God. I think most people do if they really admit it. But that is the goal. And that's why we always ask St. Joseph to intercede for us, to grow in those virtues and those responses. As difficult as it is, and disregarding whatever's going to happen as a result of being faithful and obedient to God. So we'll finish tonight by going over the litany of St. Joseph. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, hear us. Jesus, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Renowned offspring of David, pray for us. Light of the Patriarchs, pray for us. Spouse of the Mother of God, pray for us. Chaste Guardian of the Virgin, pray for us. Foster Father of the Son of God, pray for us. Diligent Protector of Christ, pray for us. Head of the Holy Family, pray for us. Joseph Most Just, pray for us. Joseph Most Chaste, pray for us. Joseph most prudent, pray for us. Joseph most strong, pray for us. Joseph most obedient, pray for us. Joseph most faithful, pray for us. Mirror of patience, pray for us. Lover of poverty, pray for us. Model of artisans, pray for us. Glory of home life, Pray for us. Guardian of virgins, 
pray for us. Pillar of families, pray for us. Solace of the wretched, pray for us. Hope of the sick, pray for us. Patron of the dying, pray for us. Terror of demons, pray for us. Protector of Holy Church, pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. He made him the Lord of his house and ruler of all his possessions. Let us pray. O oh God, in your unspeakable providence, deign to choose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother. Grant, we beseech you, that we may deserve to have him as our intercessor in heaven, whom we venerate on earth as our protector, who lives and reigns world without end. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. And may the peace of Almighty God descend on you and your families and remain with you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day.